Hello. Um, this review this week is of Heritage Hills Golf Club in York, Pennsylvania. So, so this is the first time I've been out to a new course. Yeah, so this is the first time I've been out to a new course this year, I think, this calendar year. Uh, if not exactly, then pretty close. And this course uh, is only two hours from downtown DC. I didn't want it. I have some other courses in mind. Actually, I actually have a long list of courses in the area that I want to play. Um, but this one uh, was a convenient distance. Uh, I had just played at Bewley Rock uh, the week before, so I wasn't all that eager to go back up to um, northern Baltimore, north of Baltimore, but I did, went ahead and did it. And um, actually, I had a, a very enjoyable round. The course is just over the Maryland line. It's about, well, maybe about 25 miles or so. It's just as you get in New York before you get to 380, heading up 83, and you make a right turn. It's right in that little corner right there between 380, heading um, east, and then uh, 83 heading north. So it's easy to get to. It's not that far from um, D.C. or Baltimore, especially not from Baltimore, and uh, points west or northwest of uh, Maryland. I'm sorry, um, uh, Frederick. And as such, I thought it was a good drive. It was fairly accessible, not involving a lot of heavy traffic. Um, wouldn't really be stuck on 95 or anything like that, um, although there certainly were parts... Uh, you know, always as you go on 70 heading east towards um, 695, that can get a little busy. Certainly the part between um, 70 and, and um, 83 north can get a little busy, but basically it's not a bad drive to get there. That for me is definitely one of the criteria that I um, factor in when I think about going to a course. It's one thing for the course to, to have an attractive set of um, parameters in terms of distance, slope, cost, um, layout, that kind of thing. And this course did not, per se, really fire on any of those cylinders. However, it wasn't a, a long drive to get there. And for me, the fact that I had never played it before, the fact that it was a fairly easy slope 120 course from the blue tees, it only has white and blue tees, and it's only 6,300 yards, and it was... Um, on golf now had they had plenty of uh tea times on golf now and hot deals on golf now and it just came together in a in a way that i said well let's go ahead and do this as opposed to driving to one other course that i wanted to play this weekend i've really been um looking forward to playing it this year but it's a five hour drive and i just like no i'm not i'm not getting up early uh, this weekend to go drive five hours. So certainly one factor that has to be taken in consideration if you if you don't mind driving but you don't want to drive all day long, then play five hours, then have a five hour drive back and that turns into 15 hours, which is uh, too much for a lot of people. No question about it. A lot of these places that are five hour drives are at a hotel of some sort, resort uh, of sorts, a, a sort of resort. Hilton and whatever they have but it's in a weird place it's in York it's it's almost in downtown York and I was like well it's going to be full of houses and it's going to have a lot of road noise from 83 and stuff like that and actually it did it it wasn't a resort out in the middle of like the mountains of um off of uh the Blue Ridge Parkway or something off of 81 you know off of Tennessee Tennessee in the middle of nowhere in Tennessee it wasn't that kind of place it is a fairly urban kind of resort place, yet it, and it did have a, a good number of houses. It, it certainly does. You know, you, in some holes you'll play with a row of houses on your left and in some holes you'll play with a row of houses on your right and so forth. However, it also is not bad in that regard. It's not like it's just saturated with houses. It's not like it's saturated with road noise. There was virtually no plain noise of any sort. There's very little road noise that you could actually hear from 83, which is definitely there, but it isn't, it wasn't that busy and it just was not overwhelming in terms of distractions. It was a nice drive up there and uh, York is not Lancaster. You know, it's not like you're going to Harrisburg or something like that. It's a nice, decent drive. 
that is semi-urban. I would say it's it's somewhere between suburban and urban. It's a nice place, and I actually enjoy it. Now, I'm not going to say it's this big spread where you see a lot of mountains and stuff like that. It's not like that at all. It's it's more like you know southern Pennsylvania in a sense where you see some hills. It's not flat. It's definitely not one of those places where you play and you can see off for two miles off in the distance, you know, because it's either so flat or it's so high. Neither one. It's a it's a moderately hilly kind of decent place, not far from Baltimore. So the course was fun. The, one of the things I think that was really important about this course is while it is 6,200 yards, it actually is a pretty decent layout. While it's slope 121, the greens are, I would say, accessible. However, there definitely is some hazard on some of the greens, and you certainly have to de have a decent shot to get to other greens. I mean, it's it's one of those courses where it's a good, it's a good practice course for a good player, but it's a it's a manageable difficulty level for someone who's a you know a, a 90, 100, 110 player. So it, it has a lot going for it. It does have OB on several of the holes just off the fairway. Not, not literally just off the fairway, but you know up the side of a slope or something. You know, None of the houses are ever really close except for on one hole. I think there's a house that's maybe 30 yards or 40 yards from the green. Um, and, but it's, it's basically not bad in terms of any of these issues. There's nothing about this course that I regretted in terms of playing it. And there was a lot going for it that I enjoyed. And I would definitely come back up and play this course again just to go out and have a casual weekend round. They have a really nice clubhouse, restaurant, patio, the whole nine yards. There is a hotel there. It's like, um, it's just nice. And I, I have to say, for what it is, it is very nice. And... It's tough enough to be a good challenge for, I think, 80% of, of golfers, but it's it's not overwhelmingly difficult. It certainly gives you the opportunity to go out there and hit some good shots or hit some challenging shots, play some draws and fades and, and whatever you want to do, and you know, um, and, and, and work in your agenda shots. And it has enough trees, enough water to be a penalty if you really misplay the hole. There's almost no holes on this course that are just a drop walk in the park, no problem. And there are quite a few greens that have water right behind the green, you know, right off the side of the green, fairways that have water off the sides. It packs quite a pretty good punch. This is not one of those courses where they talk about it's US Open uh, qualifier her heritage or or how Robert Trent Jones did this and all this and the other and all the holes are spectacular. No, they, they, they don't have this big chip on their shoulder about the course, but it's quite a decent playing course. I don't think that many people would be bored on this course. I, I think it could be a little harder. It doesn't have hardly any waste on the course. There's certainly parts um, where it runs around a creek or something and there's danger there, you know, you can hit into the creek or into the woods. But there's there's not a big, you know, it's not one of those things where you've got this big long stretch of, of waste on the side of the fairway. Very few of those have any outrageous peril on them. Now, there are some holes that do have some peril, but it's not like a predominant thing. It's not like there's waist high grass on every hole let's put it that way um which some courses in in this area in pennsylvania do have um i can think of a couple that are notorious for that as a matter of fact uh, it's not like that at all it's not like you're gonna have a hard time hitting out in the fairway it's not like you're gonna have a hard time hitting to the green but you're still gonna have to hit decent shots and for that reason overall just the aesthetics of the place it's it's very nicely maintained the greens are in good condition um they're fast and they have a pretty good amount of slope on them and even though they're big which is not necessarily helping you um they're still gonna make you putt well to avoid hitting three putts so it it, it gives what i think 
a golf course should give. Out of 10 things you can think of what a golf course should bring to the party, it brings everything but 7,200, 7,500 yards from the back tees. You still can go out there and shoot triples. Heritage Hills Golf Course in York, Pennsylvania, definitely a good round of golf. Absolutely not a bad course at all. Not quite as easy as that slow point 26. A B plus course.